All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the honors unto the elders and the apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and Shalom to you. I can preach this word in sincerity, diligence, and in truth. All right, so the lesson we're about to go in is basically how our labor that we're doing now, Lord willing, if we are of those elect men, our labor isn't going to be in vain, you know? We're working for we're working for a prize. We work for Yahweh Shai to save us out of the coming destruction, you know? That being the, the pestilence, the famine, the famine. The thermonuclear war, you know, the race riots, because he said he's going to deliver those men that he, uh, whom he chosen out of those things. He said his servants shall eat in that day, and why shall his servants eat in that day? Because they've labored and done the work of the Father to receive their reward in the time in the due time, you know. God. So kind, God. That's I got the first script. Um, this is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty-eight. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always. Abounding in the work of the Lord Yahweh, for so much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. God, it says, "Be steadfast, be unmovable." You know, in uh, Revelations it talks about uh, how guys uh, aren't supposed to be lukewarm. You're either supposed to be hot, or you're supposed to, uh, if you're not hot, then you cold. You God. know, and it says, "Be steadfast in this word." And why is that? Because this word is the only way through through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. That you will receive unto salvation, you know. Yep. If you're not out there tilling the field and harvesting, you know, and putting in the hard work, then you're not gonna get the the rewards of those crops, you God, know. You're not gonna reap the you're not gonna reap the benefits. Con and what are and the benefits like, is it's a lot. Is the, is the kingdom, you know. Brothers want to be, you want to be, we want to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai in, mm -hmm. in the kingdom. That's right. And if we not if you're not doing the work, you're not putting forth your all. You're not you know hiding this thing. You know, you're not you're not gonna reap the benefits. You're gonna come back in the kingdom, but you're not gonna be where you where where the men of the Lord, you know, hopeful elect mm -hmm. are gonna be in the kingdom. And you're gonna be shamefaced, huh? Because you, know? you gotta come back through those those loins of those elect men. You know? So if you're not putting out the work and not doing the work, Yah Bashim Yashai said unto uh, I believe it was Peter, he said, uh, what shall I do, Lord? And Yah Shai told him, uh, feed my sheep. Yeah. You know, and what does that mean? That means go out on highways and hedges, you know. Garden in chief place of concourse and preach unto the people. Kind, if you, he said, if you love me, uh, kind. you know, feed my sheep. Kind, the water for uh, clean that up for him, bro. He said, if you love me, feed my sheep. And the sheep are uh, the elect of Israel, you know? Kind. I got uh, to preach the fact you up, but it's Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Kind, and that's talking about in the times to come. It says, the servants shall eat, and who are his servants? Those men out there preaching in sincerity and diligence, the true gospel of Yahweh Shem Yahshai, one hundred percent. Those are those are the true the true men out there that are, are trying to reap a reward for doing the work of the heavenly Father. Like this picture, stay right here. It say hard work. Yeah, this is hard work. You know, this ain't for just the average Joe. You know, this this is a this is a man's job. You gotta first you gotta be of a humble spirit because uh, the scripts say wisdom dwells not in a malicious soul. You know, so being able to do this service, do, being able to uh, tend the field, till the field, Salakia, and be a fisherman of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, it's, it's going to be hardness upon you for that, you know? Right. Demons going to look at you, demons going to come at you harder. A lot of things going to come at you faster and harder because they know that your spirit is uh, of a righteous spirit and you're working unto be perfect, you know? Because this this is an honorable job. This is an honorable service. Being able to work for your power and know that the end goal could possibly be uh, salvation, right. you know? You escape the said perils and, and make it into the kingdom and get a ride on the chariot. First ride and see the destruction of those that oppress you. Yeah. That's to your enemies fall. Kind. That's that's an honorable honorable thing. The scripts talk about how mm -hmm. um one of the things is a man to see uh, his children raise up and to see the fall of his enemy. Yep. You can't do that if you're not in the in the truth. You know you're not gonna see the fall of the enemy. Yeah, if you were two third and the Most High put a spirit on you to go out there and mess Esau up. Yeah, you yeah. you see some fall, but as a majority, to be able to go, uh, to have your bodies changed in a twinkling of an eye, mm -hmm. that's that's only coming through the the elect men whom Yahweh Hashem put the spirit on. Kind. Um, what you got? Kind. Uh, then we uh, we just read First Corinthians five. Yeah, I got that. I read kind. that. And we read Hebrews six. Let me get that. Kind. I got it for you. I got to preach. I want to say real quick. Uh, kind. This is Luke chapter nine, verse sixty-two. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to mm -hmm. the plow, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most High Yahweh. That's right. And you put your hand to the plow, that means you're doing this work. And looking back is looking back into the world. 
So if you're looking back into the world, you ain't fit for this. No. This is not this is not for you. This thing of ours is is not for you, for you. Kind. So you know, you gotta um what is the parable with the uh the ten virgins? You didn't I mean kind. the uh, the, uh, uh the uh the ones that didn't the yeah, lamps. Yeah, they were the lamps. Or what's the five were uh, foolish, five were wise. Kind, kind, five were foolish and five were dead, and the one that didn't use the talent. Mm -hmm. So if you win this and you're not uh doing the work full steam ahead, man. Get out and let somebody else. The Lord gonna give that 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 knowledge and wisdom to somebody else Kay. to do this work. Um, go with that Hebrew. Kind this Hebrew six starting at um nine. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, and things that accompany salvation. Though we thus speak, for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Kind Yahweh's not not he's not going to forget the sacrifices you made. The fact of sacrifice you made in this in your life, you you know, giving up your life for this uh for this ministry, for this truth, the most high is not gonna forget your how about Shimia Rashad is not gonna forget your um your um your labor you put forth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we don't reap rewards in on this side. We don't reap rewards the rewards of this world. Kind. We re we reap rewards for the kingdom to come. Kind and he's not gonna forget to uh to pay them in. That was out there working for him. Kind of, kind of uh, keep going. It says, For Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Kind of. And we desire that everyone of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. That you got to do. We got to We have to be diligent in this. We just can't put up, you know, go to camp and be cool with that. We got to be, anytime you see something, wickedness or, or or something that you could pull out or something you could do a lesson on that's what what we're doing we're trying to push forth this truth so mm -hmm. we can get out of here man men of the lord hate we hate it here that's right you and know you're supposed to hate your life in this truth that's man. right we're not supposed to be living in decadence and you know we do what we do we have our daily bread um like the scripture says uh give me give me give me uh, neither poverty, poverty nor riches kind bro kind and he also said uh it's a lot. He said, uh, be in the world, but be not of the world, God. you know? Because, yeah, we got to live in the world. Yeah, we got to go to work. Yeah, we got to do those things, but we supposed to tend them to the ministry, God. you know? This is a this is a daily fight. It's, the scripts say, be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Because mm -hmm. if we're out there just in every every walk in which we were walking, every place we would go talking about, oh, yeah, Esau, you going down. Yeah, we thinking it, but you're supposed to be wise enough to know the time and when mm -hmm. to say it, you know? Like the brother said, yeah, we got to work. But if you get if the spirit get on you to write down a lesson when you can, whether it be on a, a sticky note or anything of that sort, write it down. You know that's that's the spirit giving you giving you uh, something that you could do a lesson on. You know, guys, a little bit more, bro. This uh, Hebrews six and twelve that ye be not slothful. Going back into the yeah. um, the revelation that we was talking. About, uh, kind of slack. Let me grab. Oh yeah, being slothful in the word, being you know, being basically lazy, because. You can't be lazy in this, man, because, you know, like I said, someone will take your spot. Yep. It's the Lord will take the spirit from you. Yeah. And we pray every day, Bob Kashal, the Lord, how about you now, Shai, don't take the spirit from us. Kind. I got this quick pre. This is uh, Revelation 3 and 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot, be either one or the other. Yeah, whether you in this thing or you not. If you want to be a nigga, go back in the world and be a nigga. If you want to be in this, be in this 100%. Because if you, you you straddling the, the fence, mm -hmm. this ain't for you. The Lord's going to the Lord's going to more than likely judge you worse than one of these two-third niggas. Connie, that's what the script say. It say uh the men that fall uh fall away from the plow, uh the plow, he shall be beaten with many stripes. Yeah. It, so, it says uh 16. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, Meaning you're not on fire for the word, or you being super lazy. You know, you being a nigga, you you letting the world get to you. You starting to worry about how people look at you. Mm -hmm. It says, I will spew thee out of my mouth. So meaning he's going to take the spirit from you. Okay. And you know, once he take that spirit from you, it's countless examples. And the scriptures also talk about how those seven demons come back on that man. You know? So I'm um, going to go back in this Hebrews, and it's the uh, last verse, Hebrews 6. It's Hebrews 6 and 12. That ye be not slothful, 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 but followers of them who through faith, and patience inherit the promises. And that's what we're trying to do, inherit the promises, the Come. promises of the kingdom. That's right, bro. The promises of, you know, everything that come with the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, 
it's you know that's plain. It's plain. It's plain. I got this last uh, this pre for you in Matthew twenty okay. verse two. Yeah. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, mm -hmm. he sent them into the vineyard. Okay. And this is how we talking. And mm -hmm. this is a parable. Mm -hmm. okay. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard. And whatsoever is right, I will give you. And they went their way. And again, he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. Mm -hmm. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle and saith unto them, mm -hmm. Why stand here? Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. Mm -hmm. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. So when so when even was so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. Mm -hmm. And when they came, they were hired about the eleventh hour. They received every man a penny. Con, so this whole parable is basically talking about the men that are laboring, no matter what. Um, and it also goes into the elect. The men that are out there preaching on the highways and hedges, and the men that are out there doing the work and uh, believing in Yahweh Shemuel Shai fully, they all going the elect. You know, it's talking about the elect. They are all going to get that that penny, which is that salvation. Yeah. You know, it don't matter what time you come in. Mm -hmm. If you're in and you and he seal you, then then you get it. Con, you know, and he have mercy on you. You gonna get it, con, because you got to be predestined to this. Well, everybody is already numbered or uh, got the Ezekiel nine and four mark, the mark of exemption. Yep. You're either uh, marked for condemnation or marked for exemption yep. for y'all by Shemuel to beam you out of here. You know, so you gotta. This is this is part of the work. Some men gonna be in earlier. You know, the apostles been putting in work for over thirty plus years. Mm -hmm. You know, some men may just come in, but as long as you're doing the work, mm -hmm. you know. And the Lord will have mercy on you if you know you you um, deem worthy of salvation. Con, because coming into this, this is a this is a blood contract with Yahweh Shai. You know, this is his. Uh, you're in being in the truth. You're hoping that the blood of Yahweh Shai covers you. Yeah. You know, because if it don't, then you dead. You know, he he gonna kill you off. Mm -hmm. It says uh, back in two. It says when he agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he he. That's a contract. Yeah. You you sign that agreement. Yep. This is a agreement with Yahweh Shai that I'm going to work until the end comes. You know, I'm going to endure until the end comes. So if you break that contract, that that sword must fall upon you. Con. You know? Con, you got uh, another creeper? Um, that's all I had. I'm going to do one next. This is um, 1 Timothy. Uh, it's like it. 2 Timothy 2 and 3. And this, this is a milk scripture, but but it's what we have to do. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai. No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. God, and that's Yahweh Shai making this hard and this truth, man, because mm -hmm. he not handing over the kingdom to no niggas, man. God. So if we have to endure through scoffers, our, our families, our jobs, you know, going through ups and downs and, and all kind of bullshit in this world, you know, we're not supposed to be entangled with the affairs of this life. That's right. Like the scripture says, you know, we have to deal with stuff in the world, but we try to keep that stuff to a minimum and, and deal with it as, as as be. You know, we all brothers got to work and, and and deal with their family here and there, but we not we not entangled in that life. Our labor isn't in vain, you know. The labor that we're doing. It's not in vain. Yeah. Uh, we have to work. Every man has to work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. You know. That's right. So, like the brother was saying, this, this is this is the walk that we chose to take. This is the the tools that we chose to pick up and harvest the field with. Huh. You know, every man isn't given the same talents nor measure of faith, but it's up to that man through the spirit and power y'all by Shemuel Shai to continuously push until the end come. That's right. You know. You know, basically all we're saying is, you know, we say the same thing we we preach and say we. Say for ourselves, Con. first and foremost. That's right. So you were just saying, you know, push the word, endure it through the bullshit because, man, on the other side is it's gonna be all well worth it, you know. So.
Come on, close out. So with that, Lord willing, we hope you brothers were edified. We want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh Shai, Bracket that Yahweh Shai, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh Shai, Bracket that Yahweh Shai, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh, Bracket that Yahweh Shai. Come on. We want to give a double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And Shalom, I'm telling you sincere, I can preaching this word, sincerity, diligence, and the truth. Shalom. Shalom.